Yo, what's going on guys? It is Cynical and today for you guys, I have a Kingdom Hearts 3 discussion video. Today I wanted to talk about a Kingdom Hearts 3 demo. Should there be one? How would it be implemented? And what would be included in the demo? Now the reason I'm talking about this topic today is because of the fact that there was so much going on with Final Fantasy Type OHD and with the whole Final Fantasy 15 demo included with it, it sort of got me thinking, you know, could the same thing happen with Kingdom Hearts 3? And I think it's an absolute great idea. Now, first of all, I want to talk about how it can be implemented, exactly how we're going to get this demo. And uh, secondly, I'll talk about, you know, um, the, the whole contents of the demo and what I would like to see in it. So, first of all, how would this demo be implemented? Will we just go into the PlayStation, um, you know, digital shop and we'll we just download it for free or would it be included in something now I think a good way of Square Enix uh, sort of implementing or including a Kingdom Hearts 3 demo would be in Dream Drop Distance HD now the reason I keep mentioning Dream Drop Distance HD in many of my videos is because I feel strongly for it I want it to happen and I do feel like it's most definitely going to happen now in comparison, you know, Dream Drop Distance is the only Kingdom Hearts game that hasn't received an HD remaster yet. Currently, all of the other games have had their HD remasters, and they're being included in 1.5 and 2.5, which is uh, essentially like a bundle pack, including three different Kingdom Hearts games. Now, the thing is, that can't be done with Dream Drop Distance HD. So, it's more or less saying that Square Enix are most likely going to have to make Dream Drop Distance a standalone thing. But, a way to sort of balance that out, I think, and, you know, to sort of make people be like, oh wow, it's not just one game, is that Square Enix could definitely implement a demo, a Kingdom Hearts 3 demo in with it, if you, you know, if you get Dream Drop Distance HD, you get a code, just like with, um, you know, how uh, Final Fantasy Type O HD is working. So, basically, um, Square Enix included the Final Fantasy 15 Episode Duske demo in with Final Fantasy Type O HD. Now, originally, Final Fantasy Type O was a PSP game, and um, very recently, they only just released the HD version. Now, for me personally, I definitely feel like a lot of people bought the Type O um, for, you know, the Final Fantasy uh, 15 demo. Now, that's a big reason why people are buying Type O right now. Now, I'm not saying that Type O is a terrible game whatsoever because I played it at PAX. It was absolutely amazing. I have Type O. I'm yet to play it myself, play through it, but I played a bit of it at PAX. I think it's an absolutely amazing game, but I'm just saying that it's more of a reason to buy Type O for the Final Fantasy 15 demo because who doesn't want to play Final Fantasy 15? Now I think the same thing should be implemented, say if a Dream Drop Distance HD were to be released, Square Enix would throw in a Kingdom Hearts 3 demo in there, I think it would sell probably 2 to 3 to 4 to even 5 times more copies than if it was just the normal Dream Drop Distance HD with nothing but Dream Drop Distance HD in there. It's a better way of obviously Square Enix making money, I think you know Square Enix would win, they'd get more money, more sales, and we would win because we'd be getting a little slice and a little taste test of Kingdom Hearts. So it's a happy big big happy world is pretty much what I'm trying to say. Now, do I believe that they should do this? Most definitely. I think it gives players a small little taste test of what's to come. Now, I know that with the Final Fantasy 15 demo, I believe it's around about an hour and a half to two hours long um, sort of game time on average, which is a pretty long demo. Now, I don't think the same thing should be implemented with Kingdom Hearts 3. I think it should be a very, very small slice Sort of what they did with uh, the Dream Drop Distance demo that was put on the eStore for 3DS. It was roughly around about 20 to 30 minutes long. Um, you got to sort of, uh, I believe, help out Neku and stuff in um, Traverse Town. It was a very, very small um, demo, but it was enough to sort of get the feel of the game, um, explore the drop mechanics, the, you know, the, the whole um, flow motion and all that, enough to experience the new features and how the game is feeling. And I think the same sort of thing should be for Kingdom Hearts 3. Maybe a 30 to 40 minute demo to test out the attraction flow rides, maybe one ride, one Keyblade transformation, and just to see how the game is sort of feeling, perhaps in Twilight Town with what we see in the D23 um, trailer. But anyway, I feel strongly for a Kingdom Hearts 3 demo. I think it should just be, you know, set in Twilight Town maybe. Um, we get to, you know, sort of experience some, not all, but some of the new features, the key features like the attraction flow rides, 
and um, the uh, Keyblade transformations, a few fighting scenes, maybe one cutscene or something like that, um, just enough to sort of taste test and to sort of tease us to what we're going to be getting in the full product. I think it would be really, really cool and it'd be a great way to implement it in Dream Drop Distance. That way it wouldn't be just Dream Drop Distance, but it'd also be Kingdom Hearts 3 included in there. And I think uh, the sales pitch for Dream Drop Distance would just go off the roof if a Kingdom Hearts 3 demo was included in there. However guys, what do you guys feel about this? Leave your feedback in the comment section below. Like this video if you've enjoyed it. Until next time guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.